you always get hanging out on the outskirts groups of young males and then the large fully grown males who are looking for the opportunity to find a female in estrus and for these young boys who are just at the age where they're basically either right on the outskirt of the herd or they've actually been pushed out entirely and for these young boys the chance to mate won't come just yet they're not quite big enough to compete with some of the bigger bulls no my boy you're going to come say hi no, I just wanted to eat something here. Our road rash, of course, whenever we sit with these magnificent creatures, we're always careful about the way in which we behave with them. Yes, yeah, so you're thinking about it, huh? But road rash would like to know if an elephant would charge without warning. Potentially, yes, particularly in an area where they've been traumatized. Rollo, you ready? Good. We just might do some VR recording as well at the same time. Hello, big boy. Yes. Oh, okay. Just a quick visit then, is it? Just want to come round the side of us. It's always special when they pass this close to the vehicle. I thought he was going to come right up to us and say hello, but it seems as though he had other things on his mind. Most importantly, the nice grass underneath the silver cluster leaf is where his attention seems to be based. Oh, bye. We were talking about Road Rash's question, and I didn't actually quite finish that answer. Most of the time, elephants will give you a warning sign. In fact, I find you can feel almost unequivocally when an elephant does not want you around versus when they do. But we're lucky in this area because the elephants here are relatively relaxed. But in places where they have been poached, I would say yes, there is a possibility that they could charge a vehicle without any prior warning. Um, I've never experienced it, fortunately. The closest I've ever come was at night. And that was, let's have a look at what he's trying to dig up there. The closest I've ever come was at night. And that was just because I didn't see the elephant, it was dark, and I'd turned off my lights for an incoming vehicle and I'd pulled off the road. And I pulled off straight into an elephant, who then decided to come running at me, but that was entirely my fault. I just didn't see the elephant there. And all I heard was tuff, 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 tuff. I slammed the car forward and drove as fast as I could away from the sound of the thudding foot footsteps. But beyond that, I've never had a charge where there hasn't been some kind of prior warning. And elephants are kind, not kind. Elephants are intelligent, and they don't want to set out to hurt you. So if you see warning signs, and if you get a warning charge, not a mock charge, a mock charge is the wrong way of describing it. If you get a warning charge, you take the very first opportunity that you get to leave that elephant alone. It's just, it's, it's as simple as that. If you push it beyond that, then it's your own fault for whatever comes of that. And it's not fair on the elephants or any other animal. If they're telling you to go away, go away. Sometimes you can't. If they're standing right in the front of the vehicle, then switching on and moving off can actually provoke them. But as soon as they move away, as soon as they give you that opportunity in that space, you leave. You certainly don't try to follow them. Now, speaking of elephants and elephant charges, they said, you want to know if I ever get nervous being around these big animals. I would be lying if I said there haven't been times in my life where my heart rate has gone right up. And I think that anybody who tells you that they haven't been nervous in situations like that is either exceptionally blasé or lying. Yes, there have been times when I've had elephants looming around the vehicle, and I wouldn't say I've been scared, but I have been aware of my adrenaline pumping and my heart beating faster, and aware of the fact that the situation is in... Uh, yes, I've got a degree of control, but the situation is essentially in their, if not hands, then very capable trunks. And that knowledge and that feeling of being so phenomenally small is very humbling and I think is very important. It's half of the magic of elephants. If you're lucky enough to have them close enough to your vehicle like that, it's a special experience. So yes, I have been nervous. Absolutely I have. 
And that's not a bad thing. Because the minute you stop being nervous or stop being aware of potential situations, the more likely you are to run into serious trouble. I think we should always remember just how potentially dangerous these animals are, but it's, it's more than that. It's just the fact that we owe them the respect not to put ourselves in that situation, or them, more importantly. Look at the way he's stripping those leaves. There's not a single leaf left on those branches. I think this one's going to come up and say hello to us as he comes past. Now he's hidden, but I don't want to reposition. I just want to wait for him to come out. Now, speaking of elephants and warnings, Anna-Marie, you want to know how often the elephants will warn us? I think it, it's very circumstantial. It would be difficult for me to give you a, an exact number. And, of course, there's different degrees of warning. Sometimes a head up and ears out is just a message to you that doesn't necessarily mean back off. It just might mean you stay there and don't you cause any trouble. I'm much bigger than you. And then they relax immediately and carry on. So it's difficult to say exactly what I would consider a warning and what is basically essentially just communication between us and the elephants. It doesn't often happen, actually. These elephants are so relaxed around vehicles that we usually, the, the warnings that we get are usually playful young elephants that are coming up to come and charge us and show how big and scary they are. Cheetah plains, it happens slightly more often than it does here, and that's because the elephants come from the, the on that sort of eastern side of cheetah plains, they come from the western edge of the Kruger National Park, and that's quite a vast space in that area where there's not that many roads, and they don't encounter that many people. And they tend to, especially during the drought, I noticed that the elephants that came in from that area were very unsettled and under pressure. So it happened more frequently then. But it doesn't often happen. And there's a big difference between, say, this young bull coming up to me now and trying to show off how big and strong he is, which doesn't mean that he isn't big and strong, he's just still quite young, and a full-grown female with a calf coming up to me and saying, you go away now. There's a very, very big difference in the way in which you interpret their behavior. One is cheeky, but part of the natural part of growing up, and the other is rather more serious. Same with lion charges. Scariest lion charges I've had in my life, hands down, have come from females, from lionesses. But you're not thinking about that, are you, boy? You just want your breakfast. My fav One of my favorite things about elephants is their hairy lips. I just love it. Our Shailen, while we watch our elephant, you want to know, well, if an elephant does charge you, how fast can they charge? Around about between 12 and 15 meters per second. Having long legs helps to move very quickly. So faster than you can run, which is why we always say whatever you do, don't run, because that can turn a warning into a full-blown charge. So faster than we can go, 15 meters per second. What's that, about 45 feet per second. That's crazy fast when they're at full speed. And if you've ever seen an elephant walking, you can imagine just how fast they can actually run when they want to. And again, there are a few signs that it's not serious. Ears out and trunk up and lots of noise. Chances are that elephant is warning you. Ears back and tongue tucked up underneath the chin and completely silent, then you're in trouble. Then those elephants do mean business. But that doesn't mean that a noisy ear out, trunk up elephant charging at you couldn't actually be provoked into a full charge. It's just some of the signs to look for. I don't think he's going to come and join us this way. Let me go forward a little bit then. Or, which way are you going to go, boy? Hey, mister. Oh, 
there was a certain inevitability to that.